everyone, it's me, Lori Ann Spagna, here with you today to just briefly discuss the topic of reclaiming our personal power and how in the new paradigm we really are meant to reclaim our personal power and what a significant and important step this is for lightworkers and awakening beings everywhere, particularly during the ascension journey. I would love for you to take a brief moment and consider all of the people, groups, organizations, and events even where you have given your power to in your life. And some of the obvious ones may be teachers who had the right to judge you or parents who very likely we have blamed for our own traumas and dramas and upsets or friends or significant others, spouses, boyfriends, girlfriends, siblings as well. Those are kind of the obvious ones. We don't always think about some of the less obvious ones. Um, and then there's also sort of like a middle group. Like the middle group would be the government and the media and just news reporters or the the news itself or commercials, pharmaceutical drugs, drug companies and the commercials, the influence they have over us, which very often we're con unconscious of. But those are sort of medium ones. Even TSA, the overt willingness to go through a machine that actually is very harmful and detrimental to our bodies just because a false authority says it's safe. And how even people who work in TSA just believe the authorities who tell them that it's safe and how they just believe the authorities who say we need to protect our world because we believe what we're told on the news that the world's an unsafe place, for example. Those are some examples of how we've given our power away and the reality that we've been living in, the physical world that makes us go through unpleasant experiences because we gave our power away to those things. Those are just some examples. But consider the ones that are less obvious even, where maybe you gave your power away to your own astrology and believed that your astrology would dictate your future or your tarot card deck or maybe your guru or a psychic. These are just some examples. A lot of us give our power away to our physical body. So if the body shows some form of dis-ease or distress, we suddenly become, or maybe not so suddenly, victims to our own body, um, believing that our body has power over us. A great example of that is any ongoing sort of dis-ease you might have, such as allergies or sinuses or anything you kind of live with. Um, another example might be um, arthritis. Anything you sort of tolerate and live with as a dis-ease of the body. Those are examples of how we've given away our power to our body. We also give our power away to weather. These days, that's a very big thing, especially if you live in an area of the world where there are unpredictable weather issues like tornadoes or tsunamis or or hurricanes or earthquakes, there's a way that we give our power away to weather because we don't realize we have influence over it. Droughts, fires, those are really good examples. I realize this is rather pushing the envelope to say we actually have power over those things to make change for the better for ourselves and for the whole of humanity, um, but we don't know it. So another way we give our power away is to our unconscious belief systems. Just think about some of the beliefs that you might have. For example, money may have power over you or the belief that there's not enough money or that you don't have enough money, or that you can't afford things. Time is another key place 
that or place not it's not so much a place but a way we give our power away to time to the belief that linear time is a constant there are so many ways we give our power away and in so doing we anchor ourselves into a third dimensional paradigm aka an old grid system an old structure an old way of existing which is no longer relevant for us and it is now time for us to reclaim it another really fabulous example is uncertainty and the unknown humans give our power away to the uncertainty and to the unknown in our powerlessness we have not fully realized how we create our future and our reality and through our lack of awareness on effective manifestation and manifestation practices we give our power away to have a life that we want to create a life that we want and to live a life that we want that we choose we do this personally we do it collectively as a group and we have consensus about it as groups and subgroups and part of the ascension process is in reclaiming our power this is so important for us in for our future for the future of humanity it's important for us as individuals because we get to live lives of our choosing with people who we love and enjoy who love and enjoy us and with all the abundance and prosperity and health and well-being that we would ever dream up for ourselves we must first reclaim our power before we can really fully have those things and also it's important for the state of our humanity because in reclaiming our power we will eliminate the the fear-based reality that many people are creating for our future one where there may be water wars in the future or health wars or other forms of wars or insanity these things are not inevitable they are not really truly part of our future the fear about ai and the fear about viruses oh my goodness that's another one where we give our power away to these viruses and the these are all part of the unknown and unpredictable as we reclaim our power we will come to realize those things are not requirements for our participation and nor is it a requirement for them to be part of the future for humanity we are the ones who must change this and in order to do that we must reclaim our power this is so critical now at this time and this is why i'll be teaching a two week interactive uh group healing and training event entitled reclaiming your personal power calling back your true divine power and potency i cannot begin to tell you how important this is and how much it will change your life for the better and improve the quality of your life and for your animals too because we don't even realize the power we have over their life trajectory and over the death and dying process for ourselves and another and one another that that's another place we give away our power aging death and dying i would love 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 to be able to assist and facilitate more of your awakening journey on this particular area i'm so passionate about it I know that as we awaken we will transform all of this for the better but it's time it's time now and that requires us to actively engage and actively participate so for this reason I will be teaching this two part interactive live webinar for people all over the world again it's called reclaiming your personal power and calling back your personal power and potency i will be teaching these on saturday march 14th and saturday march 21st they will be recorded they will be via webinar so you don't have to be there live there will be direct channel information and guidance from the higher realms including masters teachers loved ones angels 
whoever shows up for our unique group based on the unique group needs. And I'm inviting you to join us now. And if you would like to, please head over to lorispania.com. Under the live events tab, you will see the link for group healing and training events. This is happening by webinar, so it matters not where you are in the world. You don't have to be there live to get the support and coaching either. You can certainly interact via email and submit questions and get support that way. There will be live coaching, support, and healing for the participants. You know, I get countless emails and inquiries through Facebook and people on sidebars, which I can't even read or look at, asking for support. I cannot do that. I just literally do not have the time and energy to help everyone on one-on-one through sidebars on Facebook and things. But this this is how I be of service. I know this is going to be so effective and so amazing and fabulous for you. And this is how I can make myself available to you in these group healing and training events. They're very intimate and personal, and yet you still get to maintain whatever anonymity you may want or need. So we all support one another and help one another, and we get the coaching from the higher realms and the higher guidance and the healing that we need in these small, intimate groups. I invite you to join me. Again, it will be two Saturdays in a row, recorded via webinar, video webinar, Saturday, March 14th, and Saturday, March 21st. You do not have to be there live. Um, there are two play, two hour play shops, two weeks in a row, and you will have live access and support from me. And so I invite you to join us. It's at lorispania.com. Under the live events tab, you will find it under group healing and training event. And it is entitled Reclaiming Your Personal Power, Calling Back Your True Divine Power Potency, uh, Divine Power and Potency. I invite you to join me now. I hope you feel called to it and drawn to it for, I think it's just going to be, I know it's just going to be truly amazing and wonderful. So please join us. I look forward to seeing you there. And I love you so much. I thank you so much. And I wish you all the best. All my love. Bye-bye.